Michael Polanyi says Canada is downplaying the impact of the forest industry on climate change. We have very serious concerns with uh, the portrayal of the forest sector and the logging industry as being low carbon or carbon neutral. He's co-authored a report by a group of environmental organizations highlighting problems with how Canada calculates the carbon emissions from its forest industry. Canada, like other countries, only has to report net emissions from activity in managed forests. But the report says Canada's definition of managed forests is too broad. It includes areas with old-growth trees where there is no logging. And Canada is using the amount of carbon sucked in by those trees to offset the carbon released by the industry. We think there's a 80 megaton understatement by the government right now of the emissions from the forestry sector. That's equal to nearly 10% of Canada's total reported emissions. The forestry industry argues all international rules are being followed. Just from someone who's been observing um, the evolution of IPCC reporting, um, the Canadian model around forest carbon is regarded, well regarded, as one of the best, if not the best, model globally. There's real concern over Ottawa's flawed calculation, especially as governments set policies on logging of forests that are needed to absorb carbon. This forest scientist says the federal government also doesn't account for how much carbon is stored by trees underground. What we found in general is that you know, that half of the carbon is below the surface. So, and that below carbon pool is not actually included in the models. An important call to take another look at the environmental impacts and benefits of Canada's forest industry. Inayat Singh, CBC News, Toronto.